Factor completely. x squared plus 5x minus 36. Okay, first thing you have to do is you take a look at the sign right here. Here I have a subtract. That means they're going to have your the opposite sign. Your factor will have the opposite. 1 plus and 1 minus. Alright, let's take a look at how to factor. So first, you factor out 36. Okay, get all the factor of 36. This one can be done by using a calculator. You can just put 36 divided by x, control T. Okay, so 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, and 4 times 9. And last one, 6 times 6, give you 36. Alright, so after you're done factoring right here, you ask yourself, what this sign means? The negative means you're going to subtract the two numbers to get a middle term. Okay, so I subtract. I'm going to subtract the two numbers, one of these, to make a 5. So here I have the only one that starts to 5 is 4 and 9. So here I have 4 and 9. But I don't know where to put 4 and 9. So I'm take, going to take a look at the sign right here in the middle. If they are positive, the bigger number will have the same sign. So I put 9 right here because 9 is bigger and 5 is smaller. Okay? And you're going to double check this by doing grab. Grab the original, which is this one. And then you hit tab. And then you put your answer in. If the graph is on top of one another, then your factor is correct. Right? Again, look at the last sign. If it's negative, they both have different sign. 1 plus, 1 minus. Get out all the factors. It's the negative right here, the subtract right here, means you have to subtract the two numbers to get the middle number, which is the 5 right here. Right? And then you figure that the pair, you put a higher number on the same, the one the same side with the plus, with the middle number. So here the middle number positive, so the higher value have a positive, and the other one just the opposite. You check it again. Every time we want to check our factor, we have to use this one. I encourage you to check every time just to make sure that you're on the right track and you got the right answer every time. Alright? Have fun studying!